Like all the projectiles are just doing doing work. I'll take some hits here. Increase damage some more. The 7.5%, baby. Thing with this one though, like once we get this crystal, we don't this crystal dagger, we're not gonna want to take damage. Dude, we got a lot of fire damage stuff. Which we could we could trade up. Since we literally have Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, you all am enjoying the content. If so, make sure you just tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do really appreciate it. And if you guys would like, you guys can tap that bell notification on to get notified when a new video goes live, as I do upload it every single day, and you guys don't want to miss out. But uh, let's jump right out into this. We're going to play some Chaos on Elfheim as usual. Another hard run, nothing too too extravagant, but uh, hey, you got to do what you got to do to check everything off, am I right? <laughs> Imagine going another deep crystal run. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, we do have three bands, too. Staff could be interesting, but let's reroll. Ooh. It's been a little bit since we've done a dagger run. I'll, I'll run daggers. Ooh, and Stormbringer. That could be very interesting. Along with this. This could be... This could be interesting. To say the least. Damage crit. Coin could be interesting. But I'm not, I'm not going to run coin. Oh. Oh, no. For some other reason, I was thinking something different there. Attack speed. Okay, yeah, this should work. This should work for now. We'll, we'll see how, we'll see how this goes. I don't think it'll be too bad. We're definitely going to go high in the projectiles. That's kind of what I'm leaning toward right now, is high projectiles. We'll see how well that works out, though. Um, area duration, sure. I don't know. It'd be cool to get, like, another... Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll go this one. It'd be cool to go, like, a full-on, like, dagger run that could be interesting but um we'll just run this for now um cooldown could be good i definitely want projectile maybe attack speed bottomless pockets definitely a no-go oh projectile speed though or cooldown and oh i'll take cooldown having the rerolls now is huge because like before i don't think we had the rerolls so having the rerolls now is massive both of these are good. I'm gonna take this one. We're gonna do like a heavy projectile build this time. Hopefully we can get something happening here. Uh, cooldown projectile is pretty big. Projectile's duration. I'll take that. Cooldown attack speed. I mean, I'd like more projectiles on this, but I'll take cooldown. Um. Oh my god, dude. And we got Crimson Dagger. I'm totally taking Crimson Dagger too, dude. We're taking daggers upon daggers. I think these are the only two daggers, though, that you can take, so... I mean, I'll take them. I'll take them. Um, yep, I'll take this. I'll take this. We should be... We should be pretty juiced up now. Um, this is technically a projectile as well, so I'll definitely take the boomerang. Projectiles critical, sure. Damage projectiles, yes. Damage projectiles. Oh, that's for that. Cooldown projectiles I'll take. You gain crit. Eh. I want to hold off on that. I'll take area, though. Area is always a pretty good one. Holy crap, our damage is up there right now. Projectile bounces seems pretty good for the boomerang. Um, I'll take another projectile on this guy. Because, I mean, we have 12 for the uh, dagger, which is, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep this point. Just because I do want this. I mean, yes, it's only one damage, but it's uh, 10 attack speed as well, which is pretty good. Um, 
Uh, why did I just roll? I didn't even roll, I took it. Fudge nuggets, man. Okay, I guess I'll take that too then. Do I get enough XP to hold over to pick that up? Shouldn't be too hard to get it. I should get it like right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, e, I'm gonna keep these two points and I'm gonna spend them on this guy. And we're gonna run up to this one. I think this is gonna be a very smooth, uh, smooth run. I don't think anything too crazy is gonna happen here. I mean, we are on hard mode once again, so I know I've said that the past couple episodes because we are running hard. I'm um, not expert, but hey, I mean, we get, what, we get what we get, you know. We get what we get. Um, oh, plus 50% experience gain. I'll definitely take that. That could be pretty useful. <clears throat> Our boy here. I'm not too worried about any of that. I mean, we do have attack speed and cooldown. Damage projectiles. Our damage, though, is definitely, I feel like, pretty high. Like, it feels, feels pretty strong right now. I did take the moose, yet we haven't gotten hit. A little bit of a... A little bit of a bummer. But, you win some, you lose some, like I said. So, hopefully, hopefully we can make something happen there. Um, I'm gonna go upgrade. Maybe we'll get hit later on, but right now, like, the only reason to get hit is to increase damage. Like, even the bosses, like, we're not getting close enough to... Damage and bounces? Sure. Cooldown duration? Eh, let's go projectile speed. <clears throat> Oh, you can hold down the mouse button to aim. Interesting. I did not know that. Huh. Let's go this. Let's go this. I mean, at this point, we're just going through like the, the flow of things, just seeing how things go, since we've ran all these maps so far. Um, <clears throat> next one's, I think, Jotunheim, which should be pretty interesting. We'll see how that goes. I don't think that'll be too bad. I think that's the next map. I I'm not sure, though. Or the next island. Projectile duration. Not leveling up super fast, but we are getting some. Okay. Getting some gold. Gold is always good because um, with this one, if we can get uh, more, like, I think more cooldown. If we can get more cooldown, projectile speed. I don't think we necessarily need attack speed. That's a huge one. Getting the ring. It's actually pretty massive. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab attack speed and then we're pretty much just hanging out until we can go to the shop. I mean, I'm still going to run around and try and pick up some more gold. But, um, oh man, dude. This is technically a projectile. Technically a projectile. Hopefully help us get some seedlings. Like, you guys... <clears throat> if you guys have watched some of my uh, other videos, you guys know that I'm, I absolutely love the pea sprout. The pea sprout on Amaranth is just so flipping good, man. So flipping good. Like, the pea sprout is like... Oh, man, I can just go on and on of how good it is. <laughs> like, the wave clear is amazing if you get double ascension. Like, the amount of seedlings you get. It's just, all of it's just so... So flipping good, dude. Uh, yeah, see, like, we're doing so much damage that we're just wiping the bosses out before they can even hit us. Cooldown and area. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll take it again. Penetration damage. Yeah, I definitely will give them... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Fat fingered the E key, dang it. Um, I definitely want more summons. Ooh, this could be a huge one. Cooldown summons. 
Damage and summons. Cooldown and summons. I'll, I'll take summons all day, baby. Okay, yeah, I'll take this. I'll take this. Okay, and then we, we just spam R nonstop. Look at how big the area is of our freaking peace sprouts now, dude. <clears throat> Heck yeah, man. Attack speed feels pretty dang good. So basically, basically what we want is damage, cooldown, projectile speed. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I mean, yeah, we only have three, but like getting that is actually huge because it bumps us up from three to eight, which is kind of massive. Three to eight, flipping, uh, Um, it's kind of huge for projectiles or summons, I guess. Three summons to eight summons is pretty huge. Damage might be a little low, but I mean, like, we have a crap ton of um, summons, like, damage will scale with the summons. But you can either have one that does 100 damage, or you can have 10 that do 10 damage, you know? I don't really want. Do I have the Mighty Bow? I do have the mighty bow. Huh. All right then. I mean, that's a little bit of a uh, bummer. I don't think I took it. I think it's just something that uh, I got from the the chest, dude. We're, we are shredding through this boss. Increased movement speed. Let's take the mighty bow. More summons would be cool. Take cooldown. Okay, I mean, I wasn't trying to kill him, but we absolutely smoked him. Uh, I'll take this one. Uh, I could take one of those two, but I don't really want to. I'll take this one. Uncanny bow as well. I mean, that's technically a projectile. Shadow Dirks, I think, is summon. Glitch is a projectile. Summoning relics by oh, I think we're gonna get a lot. So I, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, poison bombs a projectile. I mean, we don't. We we're not gonna. We're not even gonna cross this. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna take you. The equation there. 67. Ooh. Ooh. By you. It's by you. I mean, we're gonna waste a little bit of gold, but. Actually, no. That's actually perfect. Oh my gosh. Andy gives us the golden Noki. Son of a. I mean, you have to take it when that comes up. Like, you have to take it. If you don't take it, like, something's wrong with you. Area. The red heart. Red heart and a blue heart <clears throat> for 10. I, I'm gonna roll. Holy smokes. Do I take it? 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 Sure. Okay. I mean, we have the golden Noki, so we probably didn't necessarily need to take it, but we took it. We took it. Um, let's go. Holy smokes, look at how big the freaking pea shooters are. The pea sprouts are now. Jeez Louise, man. Grants a powerful random stat upgrade. Okay, well, this is the first time I've seen this potion. So this should be interesting. Yeah, 
This should be very interesting. I wouldn't mind getting like XP attraction. Like the 200% XP attraction would be huge. But I mean, we have the ring as long as we don't fat finger it. I haven't seen this one before. Or this one. You know what? Split into two, reducing its damage by 50. I'm gonna go lethal slingshot. Okay, it doesn't look. Hmm. It doesn't look as good as I thought it was gonna be, to be completely honest with you. I thought it was going to be throwing out a lot more. I mean, I guess it's based off if it hits an enemy. And then this one we're keeping. Projectiles penetration. I mean, I probably could have kept the other one as well. Especially on this build. Like, this build we're pretty juiced up. We probably could have definitely kept it. But... I mean, I wanted the, uh... I wanted to try the other one out. But if we can get more chests, like, that's a 5% increase. Like, we can definitely work our way back up to having over 200%, um... Work our way up to have over 200%, um... Uh... Damage. Which will be huge. Poisonous mushroom's actually huge. I mean, we're kind of running a little bit of a poison build. Uh, damage and cooldown's actually massive. 15 gold for critical chance halves. I mean, we're not critting. I mean, we are critting, but not very often. It's like once in a great while that, that we're critting. So I may take it. I mean, uh, depends on how much gold we, we start racking up. Like, if we're easily going to cap out, then I'll spend it. But if we're not, like, above 70, like, I'm I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. Okay. Cooldown's not super high. That could be good. That could be good. I'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll see where we uh, we end up with it. Like, this is another build that we could just we could just sit back and freaking relax, dude. Like, Chaos and Missing, Hansi, shoot, maybe even Amaranth are all builds that we could just sit back and just chillax on. We will have the ring to pick up all the XP when needed. Alright. We'll go more area there. This is actually kind of crazy. How many projectiles we have on the screen right now? The projectiles are doing work, baby. Cooldown projectiles. Damage area. Cooldown area. Like, we got a lot of XP flowing about, which is kind of huge. Kind of huge. Gold, though, definitely... Definitely lacking in the gold. Only 11? Not great. Mine's probably pretty close to full. That's not a bad one. Yeah, it is full. 
Put it off for too long. I mean, this is a nice, like, just... Just flow, man. Okay. Dude, we wiped that guy out. Holy shnikes, dude. Let's just go keep going more projectiles, man. Definitely not taking many hits. To increase the damage on that front, but I mean... Oh well. We have so many projectiles, I think we're gonna shred Sindri. Or not Sindri, uh... Flip dude, I forgot the name. Hmm. Yeah, we can go that one. Yeah, I'll take damage. <clears throat> okay. I mean, we're not getting a lot of gold, but our damage and, like, just wave clear right now is so high that, like, I don't think it's really going to matter. Oh, another ring? It's actually kind of perfect. Because... It's kind of perfect because... Like, we're still going to have a ton of XP on the ground. To pop pop it pop the ring if we really need to so we're up to 70 gold I'll take it why not might as well I could take gold for like the shop but I mean I'd rather uh I wonder if you can max out the amount, like, if you can max out all of the, uh, like, stuff on the side there, on the right-hand side, like, all your, uh, relics and stuff. I wonder if you can max that out. Three hundred and seventy-one damage. That's actually kind of gnarly, and we didn't use the ring. I'll take you. That's technically another projectile. Attack speed we could juice up, but I'm not going to use attack speed. Plus two summons. I'll take that. I'll take the area. Uh, all that kind of sucks. Projectile speed plus 25%. That is insane. This should be interesting. I don't really, I mean, I definitely see a difference, but. Dude, we shredded that guy. He didn't even get a chance to like, crap, dude. I didn't want to use that yet. They swapped out on me before I could... Ah, oh, man, dude. That's annoying. They swapped out on me before I could freaking use the heart one. It's a bit of a bummer. Six more gold. I mean, we're definitely making our way, like... Through here pretty well. Like all the projectiles are just doing doing work. I'll take some hits here. Increase damage some more. The 7.5% baby. 
thing with this one though, like once we get this crystal, we don't this crystal dagger, we're not gonna want to take damage. Dude, we got a lot of fire damage stuff, which we could we could trade up. Since we literally have no fire damage. Look at all the poison mushrooms though. Holy smokes, we're throwing like four or five out at a time. It's actually kind of insane. Okay. I totally need a freaking ring again. Can't believe I used it. Okay. Just like that, we're not paralyzing. Okay, seedlings. The main reason why I want the ring is literally for seedlings. Like, I honestly don't care about the gold or the healing aspect of it. It's mainly seedlings. At this point of the game. Okay, there's three more. I mean, getting XP right now also helps us get more seedlings, so... Okay. Really need a ring, though. Okay. More summons. That's actually kind of gnarly. Okay. More attack speed. I mean, I guess we'll take it. More gold. More gold. Like, we're actually getting quite a few gold drops. Okay. I'll sacrifice all the blue hearts to get more, uh... More damage. Like, we're gonna break 300... Oh, we lost the freaking... Damn it. I wasn't- I forgot. We lost the crystal dagger. Not that I think it matters. Because, like, I think we got the damage back off of that last boss. Or that last elite. Dude, the, uh, the projectile speed, though, feels pretty good. Cooldown feels good. Like, we're definitely doing work. I saw this guy over here. I'll take more view, take more view. I don't know if I've ever maxed out. I don't know if I've ever maxed it out. The seedlings. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Carry on, peace sprout. Look how big those boyos are. Those boyos are huge. I really would love a ring, man. Bit of a bummer. It just gave me the same thing back that I just used. Okay. I mean, 50% projectile speed is insane. Damage. A roll. Area. I mean, I could go crit, but that's not going to help us at this point. Area. Damage. Back props maybe for like all the poison we have, but area, cooldown, projectiles. Cooldown. Alright, and then I'm gonna go into here. Um let's see. We're not paralyzing anybody. Not burning anybody. Criticals have a chance to burn. I need a chance. Okay, I think we are good. 14 gold, I mean... Gives us enough to do a reroll. 
to absolute garbage. Cool. All right, cool. Yeah, like, I wonder if, like, we could get enough over here on the right-hand side to, like, just get everything. So, like, the shop, when you go into the shop, like, there's just nothing left. Astrid, that's who it was. Okay. Holy smokes, dude. We just shredded through her shield. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Chaos is freaking strong if you can get the right... Right items, like holy smokes, do this. She had nothing on us. Yeah, if y'all ended up enjoying that, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, next episode, we'll be playing, be playing uh, good old Axel Door here. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll go Iron Hammer again. I mean, since we just kind of ran Stormbringer. Eh, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll go Stormbringer. Because it is a new island, so we'll check it out. But yeah. Hopefully y'all ended up enjoying. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do really appreciate it. You guys can also tap that bell notification, uh, turn it on to uh, get notified when a new video goes live as I do upload every single day. But without further ado, that was uh, Nora Cashes. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.